were consistently late. In fact, you were always too late. Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gatsuga, and today I'll be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! tier analysis video on, I guess, roids. But I might combine this with my Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypal facelift video on roids as well. Since I'm mostly doing this because of this one video I saw by TGS talking about roids and why they're so unplayable. Or at least how they're so unplayable. And it's actually remarkable how unplayable they are. So much so to the point where they actually would constitute at... I mean, they would be eligible for our Legacy of the Worthless. Anyways, let's get started. We have Vicroids, and if anyone doesn't know what Vicroids are, they're basically a fusion machine archetype. And they were roids before speed roids were roids. So anyways, let's get started. For the pros... They have machine support. That's about it. They have general machine support. As well as, you know, things like Power Bond, which is like a machine exclusive fusion card. But that's about it for the pros. Now, for all the cons, they are very normal summer reliance. They struggle to close out games. And that is saying something concerning you have things like limiter removal and power bond. But because it's really difficult to fusion summon in this fusion archetype, you wouldn't really be able to uh, OTK all that reliably, especially since power bond isn't really searchable in this archetype, which honestly sucks. It should have been searchable, and the field spell should have been way better than it actually is. They have lackluster monsters because even their main deck monsters all suck. Mixeroid and Dragonroid being one of the best monsters in the archetype, and even then they kind of suck. They lack good searchers because most of the searchers exclude wind roids. Not even just that, the field smell as well. It, you have to destroy a card you control on the field. So you either have to waste one of your spells and traps just so you could search. Or you would have to destroy one of your monsters that you normal summoned just so you could search, and that is pretty bad. Also, this deck lacks card removal. Also, Mixed Roid's a wind monster for some reason, even though it's a fucking mixed truck. Why is Mixer Roid a wind monster, Konami? Why? The world may never know. And this deck lacks good fusion monsters, because most of the fusion monsters have very lackluster effects, and on top of that, they're ridiculously hard to summon. And they lack ways of fusion summoning, which is, again, ironic, considering that this is supposed to be a fusion archetype. For the stats, I'd give this deck a 2 out of 5 for power, mostly because of power bond. A 1 out of 5 for defense, a 1 out of 5 for recovery, a 1.5 out of 5 for versatility, and a 2.5 out of 5 for consistency. And overall, I'd say that this deck is a tier 4 deck. Might, it might actually be worse than a tier 4 deck, if you could even believe that. I said what I said meant every single solitary syllable. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about this assessment, and I'll be meeting you in part 2. Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gantiga, and as promised, I'll be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypal facelift on Theocroids. And, um, yeah, I know I'm a bit late on this. You're late. Thank you for waiting. But, let's get started. First off, we have Dozeroid, and it's a level 5 Earth Machine Effect Monster with 2,000 attack and 0 defense. And this effect reads, if you control no monsters, or if all monsters you control are roid monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. But you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. And that's a hard one to return. If this card is normal, second effect reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one mixeroid from your deck or graveyard to your hand, and also, that's also a hard one to return. Next, we have Motor Psychroid, and it's a... Uh, Level 4 Earth Machine Effect Monster, and it has 1,200 attack and 1,200 defense. And its effect reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one non-wind roid monster or one Vehicroid card from your deck to your hand. And that's a hard one's return. 
Next, we have Mimicroid, and it's a level 1 Earth Machine effect monster with 0 attack and 0 defense. In this first effect reach, you can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster for a Roid fusion monster, but the other fusion material monsters must be correct. Second effect reads, you can tribute this card, special summon up to two copies of Mimicroid from your hand, deck, or graveyard, but you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Roid monsters, and that's a hard ones per turn. Next, we have Veacroid Convoy, and it's a quick play spell card, and in its effect reads, you can tribute one monster you control, special summon one wind Roid monster, and one non wind Roid monster from your deck and or graveyard. Second effect reads, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one power bond from your graveyard to your hand, and that's a hard once per turn. And next for the fusion monsters, we have our Veacroid, and it's a level 6 earth machine fusion effect monster with 2100 attack and 1800 defense, and it requires two roid monsters to make. If this card is fusion summoned, you can special summon one non-wind roid monster from your deck or graveyard, that's a hard one's return. And second effect reads, monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense for each roid monster you control. Next and lastly, at least for now, we have Veacroid Coaster, and it's a level, yeah, level 8 machine wind fusion effect monster, and it has 2,500 attack and 2,000 defense, and requires three machine type monsters. If this card declares an attack, you can have this card gain 200 attack until the end of, until the end of this turn. This card can attack your opponent directly if your monsters if your opponent controls a special summoned monster. If this card leaves the field, you can special summon one Roid Fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about my Roid cards, and it's been me, your boy Blue Getsuga, and I'm out. You're all free now!